what is up y'all welcome back to my channel if you are new my name is alexis and i cover all kinds of fragrance and beauty content so if that is something you're into definitely make sure you subscribe before you leave today's video today y'all i have a very large perfume haul these are things that i have accumulated over the last few months some of these items were sent to me in pr over the summer some of these are things that i've purchased as recently as last week girl go ahead and grab you a snack if you want to see what fragrances i have recently added to my collection let's go ahead and jump right into so it. i'm actually going to start with some things that are repurchases or rebuys i already know what they smell like because everything else is going to be more of a first impressions so going into the fall i had to have another one of my staple go-to vanillas and i do want to thank commodity for sending this over to me i am an affiliate with them so if you guys choose to shop the commodity website i do have an affiliate link i will have link in the description box but this is a fragrance that i have emptied absolutely absolutely love this y'all this is such a cozy warm likable easy to layer vanilla i would not say this is super gourmand but this is definitely more of that clean girl vanilla the vanilla that is very easy to wear it almost kind of leans borderline in the fresh territory and i just find that it is just super cozy for the fall and winter months so i had to have another bottle of this because if you guys watch my summer i want to say it was my empties from over this summer i did empty a 100 ml bottle of this and i was like girl I, I need to have that back i need to have that back in the collection thank you commodity for sending this over this is the expressive version this is just the one that i prefer i find that it gives me a decent scent bubble i will say though you guys if you are not someone that can finish a 100 ml bottle of perfume relatively quickly, I would recommend you start with a travel size of this or even do one of the little mini 30 ml bottles they have because I do notice that if you do not use this up at least within six months, the fragrance itself starts to change. It doesn't, it's not as strong and it's not as long lasting. Thankfully, I know this, this is something I literally layer all the time. So I will probably fly through this bottle again, just like the last one. But yeah, that is just something to note if you are interested in picking up a large bottle of any of the commodity fragrances. Okay, y'all. The next fragrance that is a repurchase for me, which I'm honestly a little salty because I emptied this. This is another one that I emptied sometime over the summer. And I repurchased this before the Intense came out. Either way, I repurchased my Dolce & Gabbana Devotion. I was ranting and raving about this when it first came out, girl, and truly was obsessed, okay? As someone who is a lover of all types of citrus gourmands, some of my favorite fragrances are, for example, um, Lyra by Zhirzhoff. If you love those, if you love that scent DNA, girl, this is just such an easy reach, such a likable scent heavily complimented and I was just in love with this and flew through the bottle so I will say that since this is a predominantly lemon fragrance at least when it opens up it does kind of give you spring summer gourmand vibes but for me the panna cotta and the dry down definitely gives this a little bit more richness to play around with your fall and winter scent so that is why I did not mind having this for the fall and winter as well and I'm super excited to have it back in my collection I do want to pick up the Intense though, so I may just get a little travel size of that one just to play around with it and see which one I prefer more. But at this point, I have a full bottle of the OG, so I definitely don't think I need a full bottle of the Intense right now. So yeah, I had to go ahead and pick up another of the my The next one that is a repurchase. This is one that I have every single fall, y'all. I have talked about on my channel numerous of times. And I usually always repurchase it during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, which is what I did this year. So you guys will see this one already has a little tiny dent in it because I have used it a couple times since purchasing it. But this is Philosophy's Fresh Cream Warm Cashmere. I got this for 50% off during Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty. They literally have this on sale every single year, girl. And that's when I buy it because I always empty this. So this is just such a warm and cozy vanilla there's also coconut in here which i always forget adds just kind of a creamy richness to this scent and it's just so cozy it's just super super cozy super easy to wear if you guys are fans of sabrina carpenter's sweet tooth and you never smelled this i would say this is definitely a more grown and sexy version of sweet tooth but they still smell very very similar it's just a very easy layerable 
woody sweet vanilla and i just love this i mean it's just an easy wear if you don't like your woody vanilla scents i would not say that this is something that is blind by safe but if you are a fan of again sabrina carpenter's sweet tooth and you want something a little bit richer a little bit thicker also if you are a fan of chirosa 59 the purple scent that one definitely has that same kind of vanilla woody vibe and this is just a great affordable option it definitely smells more expensive than what it is and this is one i will forever stand and repurchase every single fall okay, year, girl. the last one that i would consider a repurchase ariana grande's mod vanilla and girl hopefully i got it angled the right way because this bottle is horrible, okay? The bottle is horrible. So I actually did a full review on this fragrance when it first came out, y'all. And to put it mildly, I was not impressed. I was not impressed with this. I was just like, girl, it just smells like any other old Ariana Grande fragrance, whatever. But I revisited this in Ulta the other day and I was like, you know what? I sprayed it on, I walked around the store and I was like, I kind of like this now. I kind of like this now. So this one is heavily compared to scents like Sol de Janeiro's Chirosa 40, scents that have kind of that slightly fruity, woody vanilla undertone. Something about how it smelled that day when I sprayed it on myself, it really spoke to me. So let's do one more first impressions because again, all the rest of these y'all are going to definitely be more so first impressions of things. So I will have to revisit them, let you guys know if they stay in or going. Yeah, it definitely opens up in the same way that Chirosa 40 does where it has that kind of rich plummy amber type of smell. But I remember after I walked around with this on y'all in the store, I kept getting wafts of this very fluffy, cozy vanilla smell. And I really, really liked it. So I don't know y'all, I'm going to play around with this one and see how I truly feel. But I just remember the dry down of this really had me circling around the store like trying to figure out what it was that i was smelling because i had completely written this one off and i was just like oh girl whatever it's it's blah it's not doing it for me i'm excited to play around with this one see if i can get a little bit more familiar with it and see if she potentially becomes a the fave. rest of these are all fragrances that are new to me either they were sent to me in pr or i purchased them myself let's go ahead and start with something that i received from commodity so this did actually come with two travel sizes as well but i had already taken those out and i think i took them with me on a trip but this is commodities juice I got this sent to me over the summer and this is commodities newest fragrance which you guys know i love commodities fragrances i have quite a few faves from them and this one is very very nice as well i have worn it a couple of times but i will say it has a very very familiar scent dna for me it opens up with that very juicy like fruity rose combo but there is also rhubarb in here for me so while this is very juicy and mouth-watering and just very nice and likable if you like scents like Mugler's angel nova if you like even your Delinas and things like that, where you have that rose mixed with that kind of sour fruit note that in a good way, okay? Like it smells good. For me, I think the addition of the rhubarb in here makes it a little too green for my liking. But the couple of times that I did wear this, I was getting a lot of compliments and told that I smell really, really nice. Unfortunately for this one, it is just it has a scent note that I just don't agree with in a lot of fragrances. I do really like how this smells, but again, the fact that the rhubarb is in here and the fact that I have a couple of other fragrances that kind of give me this same vibe, for that reason alone, I don't know for sure if this is going to stay in my collection. I think it might just end up sitting and collecting dust. <laughs> so yeah, you guys take that with a grain of salt. Like I said, I am not a rhubarb girly, but if you are, you might really really love this one i do love how the strawberry and the rose are done i'm just not a fan of the greenness of that rhubarb it's very sharp to me and i just have a couple of other fragrances that if i needed if i wanted this scent dna i would reach for so for that reason i don't know if this is a hit for me and i feel the same way about the personal and the uh bold versions as well there's just something that's just a little off for me personally so yeah if you guys see this in the declutter in the near future do not be surprised but thank you commodity for sending this over i always greatly appreciate you guys and i am still an affiliate with them if you guys are interested in shopping some of my other favorites that i have spoken about on my channel quite a few times this is one that was sent over to me from lucky scent which i do have a discount code with them i believe it's just boho guru um all caps 
So if you're interested in shopping and trying some different niche fragrances or getting a sample of a niche fragrance before you actually commit, definitely can use my code on samples as well. But one is called Mirage Gourmand. And first of all, the bottle girl, the bottle looks absolutely insane. Now, I had not ever heard of this. I had not seen anyone ever talk about it, but I saw the notes and I was like, these look very, very good. Inside of the, inside of the box, okay? Because the box itself is also very nice. It says, immerse oneself in an elevated state of sophistication and refinement with a gourmand and regal perfume that combines subtle notes with understated elegance. Gayak wood, vanilla, and almond are expertly blended for a delicate and distinct refining to create a unique aroma. First of all, you already have me at vanilla and almond, y'all, because almond fragrances are some of my favorites. Almond notes are just the note of almond is just one of my favorite notes in gourmand perfumes because it just adds a creamy powderiness to your fragrances. So I had to try this one, y'all. So let's see, because I don't even remember if I smelled this when I got it. Oh, yo, this smells so good. So since I'm doing a first impression, y'all, I'm not going to look up the notes of any of these. I think it's easier for me to explain what I'm smelling and have the notes on screen for y'all to look at, but I instantly smell something buttery. Like it almost smells like caramel or butterscotch or toffee. And then I'm getting something that has like a cake note. Like it literally smells like an almond cake. Oh, this is good y'all. This smells so delicious but you know what i'm gonna say this this is for my true gourmand lovers if you do not want to smell like straight up food this is not for you okay this is not for you this is quite literally a gourmand scent it smells like a caramelized almond cake like an almond cake with caramel drizzled on top that's what it smells like girl uh, the butter everything like that is what this smells like I personally love that, but I can see people not loving it for that reason. So I'm going to say this, if you love Chirosa 71 and that buttery, you know, buttery, caramelly, macadamia type of smell, you would love this and eat this up. If you don't like that, you will not like this. Cause like, again, this is a very literal gourmand smelling fragrance, but I am elated to have this in my collection. So thank you so much to Lucky Sin for sending this over. This is right up my alley. And if you guys are interested in even trying a sample of this, because it is a little pricey, my discount code does work on samples as well. Le Noble Essence Mirage Gourmand. Okay, y'all. Now let's actually talk about one that I have had for quite a while. I actually remember posting this on my community tab sometime over the summer when I originally picked this up. And I just have not actually officially hauled Miss Girl on my channel but she is absolutely perfect for the fall and she's going to be in heavy, heavy fall rotation for me. And that is the Donna Karen Palo Santo and Cashmere. Baby, baby. This is one of the sexiest vanillas I have smelled in a long time. And to my Bath and Body Works girls, this is basically the perfume version of Vanilla Romance, truly. Like this... The name alone did not get me, but then I looked up the notes and I was like, you know what? Let's try it, right? I'm pretty sure this has like peach in it. I'm running out of places to spray perfume, y'all, because I just filmed another perfume video right before this. So I've literally sprayed stuff everywhere, but we're going to spray right here in the pit. I mean, as soon as I spray it, girl, it is so luxurious and smooth. You get a very sexy, rich, slightly powdery peach, woody vanilla. Like this just smells luxurious. And the Palo Santo in here, it really just gives it more of a resinous kind of syrupy feel. I wouldn't say it makes it smell burnt or anything. Cause you know, sometimes with Palo Santo, it can make things smell a little earthy, a little, you know, smoky. For this, it just gives it kind of an elevated sophistication. Like this is just giving luxurious rich you know what i mean this is black cat energy okay pantherous energy this is woman on a mission red lip dark lip like 
she matches what I'm giving today is what I'm saying. She's sexy and I've already worn her a couple of times, not nearly as much as I would have liked to, but especially now that we're in the fall, I think the scent trail on this in a crisp autumn evening, autumn day is going to be insanely beautiful. So if you have not checked this one out, girl, and you love your woody vanillas with a hint of peach, also if you love, you know, Charosa 40, Dama Bianca, those types of scents, you would absolutely love this. And again, to my girlies who love Bath & Body Works Vanilla Romance, this is the perfume version. Thank you. Okay, this is another one, y'all, that I picked up <laughs> during Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty when they had it on sale. I can't remember why I did not buy this when it first came out, but I, maybe I was on a no buy or something, but I do remember smelling it in store and I was like, girl, when I get off my no buy, I'm picking that up. But this is YSL's Black Opium Le Parfum. I'm already a little annoyed with myself that I got the tiny bottle, but at least I'll go through this faster, girl. And honestly, I do have a trip coming up where I'm planning on only bringing a carry-on or two. So that's the one benefit of getting like these one fluid ounce bottles, y'all because you can still travel with a quote unquote full size of perfume and not have to fill up your little travel size atomizers and it'll still be within the TSA limit for a carry on. So I do plan on bringing this with me on my trip, but this is the newest, actually no, this is not the newest anymore because now there's a cherry one, but this is said to be the queen vanilla of all vanillas of all of the black opium flankers. There was someone who did used to enjoy the original black opium but i just stopped wearing it i really can't tell you why i just stopped wearing it because it just stopped speaking to me at some point but i was very happy to try this one because so many of the girlies even the girlies who don't like black opium said that they were liking this one so let's see what she's giving i really want to spray all of these on me y'all but at this point i just can't because i have 10 different perfumes on my arm mm. yes this smells so good y'all and what's crazy is i'm still getting a little bit of the ysl black opium dna but it's almost like they took out that heavy thick like heady floral that was in there mixed with the coffee and you're really just left with kind of a milkier sweeter more creamy version of it so yeah i can absolutely see me getting a lot of wear out of this one i can't wait to get to know it a little bit better it's just very much in the background very muted not as in your face and this is definitely a lot more wearable easy to layer very very nice for my vanilla girls all right now speaking of ulta and the 21 days of beauty i want to say this is a, the actually no i have one more ulta pick up in here sorry but this is the Namat Vanilla Must. I want to say this was on sale either for the 21 Days of Beauty or for another random sale that Ulta had. But first of all, I don't know why I thought this was bigger than what it was, y'all. But this is a, they had this for 50% off and this is a, it's a 50 mil. Okay, so yeah, that's the box that this came in. But it has been out for a little bit. And I think the reason why I never picked this up or when it first came out is because I still was using up the oil, which is one of my favorite perfume oils. So I was very excited to see that they came out with a perfume version. Let's spray her in the box because I just feel like I'm not, I'm not smelling anything on these tester ships, y'all. Even though this is the first impressions for most of these, I still want to be able to smell. Oh, <coughs> mm. Girl, what? I don't smell anything. Hmm. Let me just try and spray it in the crevice of this little crack here. This is the only skin I got left, y'all. Let's see. Because I did not smell it at all in the box. I'm actually a little concerned about that. It is very, very faint, y'all. She's very faint. I feel like I should not have to try this hard to try and smell this. So if you guys have this one, let me know. But I'm almost kind of like... I would rather just keep buying the perfume oil because I don't know, this is not, I'm not smelling much of anything here. I get a very, very faint vanilla, but it, for this to be an eau de parfum, I, I'm not, I'm not smelling anything. I'm not smelling anything. So girl, I don't know. She might be on the chopping block. I will update you guys, you know, of course, in a future video. But if for some reason she ends up getting decluttered, don't be surprised because the perfume oil of this, it is literally one of my favorite vanillas. And I try to wear that every single chance that I get. 
And I don't know, the perfume is not giving me that. Like the perfume oil of this is very like bakery-like vanilla. It smells like almost like a cake or cupcakes or something. This is not, I'm not smelling anything here. Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe my nose is playing tricks on me. But if you guys have tried the Namat Vanilla Musk, let me know your thoughts and did it get better did it change because it's not doing it for me right now okay this is the last fragrance that i picked up from ulta i'm a little more hopeful about this one because i have heard some amazing things from this one specifically from a girl over at tresses of alexis she was talking about this one nonstop, and i was like okay let me add this to my list because i trust her nose and usually a lot of the stuff that she likes i like so let's see this is the sniff heal the way by alex l first of all let's get into the packaging i just love this paper packaging it literally says be proud of yourself extend grace keep healing i just love the little affirmations on the outside like it makes me actually not even want to open it low-key but let's open it girl and this is by sniff by the way which i think this is my first fragrance from them like i have had them on my radar of things to try i've just never gotten around to it girl so this will be my first sniff fragrance. Let's see. Girl, why am I trying to open this cute? I don't know. Just, just rip it out. Just rip it out. Just the box. This is how she comes out. Oh, how cute. How cute. Okay, boom. So here's the fragrance. And I believe this is a pistachio fragrance as well. So I'm curious to see how similar it smells to Kayali's Yum Pistachio because y'all already know she's, you know, the pistachio in charge right now joe oh my god there's more packaging okay girl okay oh. <laughs> yo i'm going through it what's going on girl let me just spray this on myself what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna spray it right here oh i love this cap though while i'm trying to figure out what it smells like why would I spray it right there knowing I can't smell myself? Okay, this is nice. This one, y'all, I can tell I'm going to have to like genuinely wear this to really form an opinion on it because I'm not getting the full essence on paper, but what I am smelling, it kind of smells like a really, it kind of smells like a pistachio, like an ice cream or something. Yeah, it's reminding me a bit of Kaoli's Young Pistachio, but it's done... A little bit differently it doesn't have as much of that fresh like powdery aspect to it this one's a little bit sweeter it kind of smells similar to that pistache body butter like it genuinely smells like a pistachio ice cream to me i like how this smells initially like i'm excited to play around with this this is definitely a scent dna that i vibe with i just wish i did not have 50 other perfumes on and i can genuinely spray it on myself what i'm smelling i do like i just need to play around with this one a bit more to fully you know formulate my opinion a few moments later um this is from future me i'm absolutely getting wafts of that sniff healed away and i'm in love with it so Past me, we're just going to pretend that I was not unimpressed. I'm very impressed with her right now, and I actually want to wear this right now. This one will be getting kept. I will continue to play around with now this these one. These next three I did pick up over the summer. I want to say one of them, yeah, one of them I have already worn and can give you guys my thoughts on, but this is a brand that I had been wanting to try for a while, and I just, again, never got around to it, but... These are all by the brand Net, and over the summer, they had a sale where basically all of their bottles, they basically redid the bottles for all of their core fragrances and like colorful bottles. So all of the original bottles, they basically clearance them out and did like a warehouse sale so i picked up three of their most popular fragrances the first one being the vanille and that is no surprise here the one that i've already worn absolutely love this one okay this one definitely gives me very similar vibes to another fragrance that i love which is commodities gold that kind of slightly fresh vanilla if that makes sense so here's the bottle this smells so sophisticated this is a sophisticated vanilla with a touch of like a sea salt this is your fresh classy put together vanilla this is not doing too much but there's still something very warm and inviting this is the vanilla for the girlies who are not into the super foodie ones but you still want to smell sweet and cozy and comforting i want to say there's either cardamom or some type of spice in here that gives this a little bit of a kick and it just makes it smell perfect for the fall. So as you guys can see, I've already worn this one a few times and 
I'm excited to keep wearing her and getting to know her a little bit better, but I definitely think this is a bomb fall vanilla. So the next time you guys are in Sephora, definitely check this one out because it like kept disappearing from Sephora's website for some reason. Like they would show it that it was new. Girl, I don't know. It's not new. They just changed the color of the bottle apparently. So yeah, I definitely think you guys should check this one out the next time you're in there. So next in their lineup, which this one I want to say is now in like a pink or a, a red bottle, but this one is Rose Parade, and this is one that my girl Aromas and Aesthetics over on Instagram put me on to. I just love her so, so much, but this is a Rose Vanilla. The notes will be on the screen, girl. I'm becoming more of a Rose girly, but I'm still a little cautious of certain ones, but y'all, this smells so freaking good, and I'm not going to lie. This is definitely more of a spring-summer scent. But this is also a very easy daily type of scent going to the office, going to run errands, going to the grocery store, whatever, like just something that spritz on. It smells very feminine and fresh, but it also has a little bit of sweetness to it. This is just such a nicely done rose. Like, I don't know how they did it because normally rose that is kind of like green, I don't like, but there's something in here that is adding a little bit of sweetness and it's just making this very easy and likable and just an easy reach you know what i mean and you don't get that with a lot of rose fragrances so yeah this just smells very sophisticated like i said very agreeable and i think this is one i'm probably going to reach for it more in the spring and summer but i am glad that i picked it up and i really really like this one this is the last one that i picked up from net this is another one that is in a different color bottle now but this is the coco fleur and this is another one that i can already tell y'all that i really really like this smells really really good but it is absolutely giving me summer summer vibes summer night also if you don't like orange blossom you would probably not like this because this is basically giving me a very rich deep in your face orange blossom mixed with a coconut and i personally love that but if you don't like orange blossom you probably will not like this so i am a fan but i don't think i'm going to be wearing this one a ton probably not until next summer honestly when it starts to get you know sunny tropical vibes and it doesn't immediately smell like other tropical perfumes that i've had in my collection Honestly, it reminds me of a fragrance I just decluttered, the Latafa Le African Drummer, but the floral in here is not as screechy and sharp. It's much more smooth and well done in my opinion. And I really like this one. So yeah, I'm a little sad. I'm just now showing it to y'all because this is one that I probably should have wore over the summer more. I just didn't get a chance to, girl. But either way, we have her now. She's just going to hang out and sit until it starts getting hot again. Now, these are a couple of fragrances that I was sent from the company Letta. Their debut fragrance was the 22 Auris. So they sent me over the 22 Auris as well as the Isla Coco. I was very excited to try these because I am definitely a fan of those sweet, powdery, second skin scents. And that is what 22 Auris is heavily said to be. You guys can kind of see I've already worn this one a couple of times. And spoiler alerts, I absolutely love this one, girl. I love this one. If you love your scents like Glossier's You and things like that, this is basically kind of that with something a little bit more fluffy and marshmallowy mixed with that musky second skin scent. It just smells very comforting. If you guys like the Bath & Body Works If You Musk, it's kind of that same family. I would say it's just a little bit sweeter. And this is just one of those scents you can just spritz on yourself before you go in with your actual scent of the day. Or you can wear this by itself if you just want something that smells like you. Like it literally just smells like yourself. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it's a sweeter version of you if that makes sense. I like her. She's nothing insane. This is definitely for my girlies who like something simple and easy reach. You want a signature scent. Like that is the vibe that this gives me. And I absolutely love the packaging. So I definitely want to pick up the vanilla Nera since we are going into the fall season. But I really, really like this one just for those easy days if you work somewhere where um, fragrances you know you can't really wear fragrances and things like that this is one of those fragrances you can wear and get away with saying you're not wearing a fragrance you just smell good you know what i mean like that's the vibe that this gives me so that is 22 auris i have here the isla coco now this one y'all i can already say 
even though I like this one, I do find that it has a very familiar scent DNA to one of my favorite fragrances. First of all, let me show you all the bottle. Sorry. I love all of their bottles. They're all very pretty. But it has a very familiar scent DNA to one of my favorite fragrances, which is Mugler's Alien Goddess. It's basically taking the coconut, the bergamot, and that just kind of bright, happy, sunny, white floral and coconut with the little citrus. It's taking that out of Alien Goddess. There's no vanilla, basically. So this is very much a citrusy, tropical, floral coconut. And it smells very, very good, but I just don't personally know if I'm going to keep this for that reason alone, because if I'm in the mood to wear a tropical coconut, zesty, citrusy type of scent, I'm going to reach for my Mugler Alien Goddess, because I just feel like it's a lot smoother with that vanilla in there, and I just enjoy it a little bit more. The florals are a little more dominant in here. The citrus is a little more dominant in here. And the fact that I don't smell like a vanilla or something in here to smooth it out and make it a little bit sweeter, it just smells like a very tropical floral perfume with coconut added. And I'm not mad at that, but I know I'm probably not going to reach for it for that reason alone because it smells too similar to something else I would rather wear. You know what I mean? It's still a very pretty scent. It's definitely giving spring summer vibes again. And I like it. I just don't necessarily think i need this one in my collection so still a very beautiful fragrance i have a few fragrances that were sent over to me by l'oreal since they are technically over mugler now i don't want to say mugler sent them to me girl but the team over at l'oreal they sent they sent these three fragrances over to me so first we have the alien hyper sense then we have the original alien and we have alien goddess intense now Let's talk about it, girl, because we're actually going to start with Alien, okay? When I first got into perfumes, I was wearing Mugler's Angel and Alien down, okay? I'm talking wearing them to work every day. And while I was getting complimented and smelling good, it's insane to think about now as someone who is highly sensitive to those types of fragrances, and I'm more picky about the types of scents I wear in certain environments, wearing those thick fragrances every single day to work just do to do, you know what I mean? Like, that's crazy to think about. But anyway, at one point, Alien was my signature scent, girl. And I've just heard so many, so many people say that they've changed the formula of this. She doesn't smell the same, this and that and the third. And honestly, I have not worn Alien in so long that I'm just curious to see if she smells like what I remember. You know what I mean? Because from what I can remember, Miss Girl, she is not blind by safe. Oh, wow. I got the big bottle. Yes. First of all, the bottle girl. She's sexy. She is not blind by safe. Okay. This is for my true Jasmine lovers. Okay. This is for my true Jasmine lovers, which I can't even really say. I'm like a super Jasmine fan, but something about Alien, it just used to do it for me. So let's see, girl. Let's see. Again, girl, she's not blind by safe. Okay. You have to like those very heady jasmines, the rouge malachite, those, you have to really like those that are kind of waxy. You know what I mean? Like that is the vibe that this always gave me. Very rich, very seductive, very alluring, but also could be very headache inducing if you don't like those types of scents. Y'all, they, they definitely changed the formula of this because she is not as strong in beast mode as she used to be. And she's very reserved. Like, she's very reserved. This is not the alien that I remember, okay? And that honestly could potentially be a good thing because I don't know if I will be able to handle the original formula at this stage in the game with how sensitive I am to fragrances these days. So, yeah, I don't know. She used to be a go-to for me, my go-to every day. But for me now, I would absolutely say alien is very much your going out date night type of fragrance I decided to play around with this one this fall and see if i still feel the same way that i felt about her many 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 years ago when she was brand new on the market girl and i didn't know a lick about perfumes i was just wearing whatever she's definitely a little scaled back so let's see what the rest of these are doing now this one y'all i did a full review on this already i compared it to the original alien goddess which if you are a stranger here Alien Goddess is one of my signature scents. It's one of my favorites. I talk about it all the time on my channel and I just absolutely love it. And I was very disappointed with the Alien Goddess Intense version because I did not feel like it was an intense 
version of it. I honestly really hate doing the tester strips, y'all, but like I told y'all, I literally have no room for anything. So let's see. This is giving closer to the OG alien than it is alien goddess for me. And I feel like that's what I said in my review. It's very jasmine heavy. Like that's literally what I'm getting. And it doesn't stink. It does not smell bad. But when I think of alien goddess, I think of the sweetness of that vanilla, the creamy coconut, the bergamot. Like I think of those things. This is just giving me jasmine like it smells like the original alien with maybe a hint more sweetness i would say this smells closer to the og alien than it smells to alien goddess and I, I feel like that's what i said in my review so i don't know we're gonna give this one a chance i'm gonna wear it a couple times again and see how we feel about it because the first time i reviewed this and the few times that i did wear it it was summertime so i'm interested to see how i feel about this as it's cooling down see maybe if it smells any differently in the cooler months i was not impressed with this one the first time so i'm not going to hold my breath and we'll just see where this goes the last one that i have since over alien hypersense which i want to say this is the newest of them so i do really really love this bottle this is really really pretty it reminds me of my birthstone actually which is an amethyst so shout out to my february babies oh this is cute this is almost kind of giving me like alien if it was an eau de toilette like that's kind of what it's smelling like like a lighter fruitier fresher version it's smelling like pear or apple or something in here this is cute this is actually really really cute y'all would i run out and buy this on my own probably not but if you liked the scent dna of the original alien and you found it to be too headache inducing or you found it to be too heavy on the florals you might actually want to try this one because this is kind of like scaling it back a little bit and adding some side of, some type of refreshing sweet fruit to it and i find this one to be a lot easier to wear than the original alien so i definitely think this is one worth smelling and trying out to see if it's something you'd be interested in because as someone who used to wear the original alien all the time this would have been like the version that i would wear to work and day to day and the og alien would have been what i should have worn out when i was hitting the streets and not going to work every day you know what i mean so yeah all right girl we made it to the end and i had to save the best for last let me not say the best for last girl but spoiler alert i do really like this one so this is the joe malone ginger biscuits i did not pick this up last year when it came out i don't know if i was a no buy or what girl or she just she got away from me but i'm happy to have her now and i have already worn this one a couple of times i really did not know what to expect with this one y'all because i saw mixed reviews on this right like when this first came out a lot of the girlies were loving it some of the girlies were not a fan some of the girlies felt like it didn't last which is very on brand for joe jo malone fragrances they're very much skin sets intimate scents since that lasts no more than an hour like that's what they are i was like you know what this could just be a fun spritzy throw on top of anything type of scent like salt so if anything let's just try it and see and i was thoroughly surprised i was thoroughly surprised because on me on skin and on my clothes this gave me a good decent six hours which i find to be pretty decent because usually after the six hour mark either i know that i want to reapply or i know i'm about to shower and i don't want to smell this on me anymore you know what i mean so i like scent i like scent that don't always last all day because sometimes i don't want to keep smelling that same scent on my clothes or on my body after i shower and i was like sometimes i just want to be done with the scent and wear something else the next day you know what i mean so for me this gives me a decent enough amount of longevity i will say she's very much an intimate moderately projecting scent but but it does smell like a straight up gingerbread cookie like y'all know the little debbie ones the ones with the icing that they sell and like the little packs and they come in like the individually wrapped like they have a little icing on them that is what this smells like it's a very realistic gingerbread almost like a ginger snap which the scent itself is very nostalgic for me because i grew up in a southern household and my grandmother always had those very hard crunchy molasses ginger snap cookies and i used to tear them things up okay i used to tear them things up because that was the only sweetness i could find in the house okay ginger snap cookies and freaking butter pecan ice cream that's all my grandma used to eat so that is what this smells like to me and 
it's not anything crazy, but something about it is just cozy and comforting. And this is just gonna be a cute little layering fragrance for the holidays and for the fall and the winter. It's not something I would wear by itself because I do feel like it's lacking depth. It needs some extras, but I think it's cute to layer and spray with other things. And it does give me fall winter vibes. So it's genuinely smell like a ginger snap. And that scent itself is very comforting and nostalgic and cozy for me. So I am happy to have this in my collection. And the bottle is just super, super cute, girl. So yeah, Jo Malone fragrances are not cheap, right? They're not cheap. So if this is something that you can afford to spend the extra money on, girl, I definitely think she's worth picking up just for the novelty of it. But I don't think it's a must have, right? Like, I don't think it's a must have for that reason alone for it to be Jo Malone prices. So yeah, that's that. Okay, y'all, that is it for this massive, huge, gigantic perfume haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope some things in here spoke to you guys. Of course, everything will be linked. And if you do shop my links, I greatly appreciate you. But like I said, y'all, most of these were first impressions, okay? So I did not want to go super in-depth about reviews. So if you guys want full-on reviews for some of these, definitely let me know. But I will try my best to update you guys throughout the season, throughout the next few months of things that I am actively using and enjoying. And I do plan on doing an October-ish perfume tray um, to kind of let you guys know what I will be focusing on for the month. So hopefully I can get that up in the next few days as well. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.